actually had done this earlier when it was nice and quiet and there was no freaking noise outside, but the goddamn piece of fucking shit phone decided that it wouldn't record the goddamn audio. Because it's on Returnal Audio, so I have to redo this over again. So here we go. Sorry for the background noise, but you know, I have to get this out to get this out. Uh both uh there are two channels that I watch that do something like this. One David Lee Down Under does it for like Disney movies and popcorn movies and that kind of stuff. He wouldn't be doing it for this type of movie. And Cinema Deviant does a very stupid way of doing it. He does it when he has the product in hand. So in other words, let's say he shows you a steelbook or a collector's edition that you really like. By the time you watch it, even if you're the first person to watch that channel, the episode, it's going to be sold out. And you're not going to see it. So, what's the point? So, here you have uh, the complete collect home release guide for the U.S. of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This will have uh, the DVD, the Blu-ray, the 4K, all, re all regular editions. And we'll also have the three collector's editions that are coming out from, or four, sorry, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and Amazon. The Amazon one is also available on, at Target as well, so it's not really an exclusive, but you get, get the point. Now, here we go. Their DVD, how it will look. The regular Blu-ray, which comes with the DVD and the digital copy. And the 4K. Quentin Tarantino shoots movies, actually, the way if you can make them actually 4K. If you shoot on film, you can actually get the 4K resolution out of it. It's not shot in 2K and then upscaled to 4K. It's an actual 4K transfer. So, there you go. And also, movies that, don't ha that aren't really high into... Uh, Special effects in that. You don't need that either. Little thing. If you go on ISBN, you can actually check to see if movies are going to be actually in 4K and it's the purpose of buying the movie in 4K or is this an upscale? And upscales don't really look that much different. The Walmart exclusive, which is the last luxor, really Walmart is really rolling back, rolling back the quality. Because, you know, a lot of times they release a version with just the Blu-ray by itself. No digital copy, no DVD. That's their exclusive. But this time, at least get some postcards. And these are just uh, Rick Dalton's uh, movies that he made over in France while he was there. And you could uh, probably print these yourself. So, you don't, so it's the least of all the, all, least of all the properties. Like, if I, if I currently had a store running... Like, I keep planning on making, on putting one out. I actually have a box of crap to sell. Just haven't done it. I'd probably buy this and just sell, and then sell the movie and keep the postcards, but just a waste of money. I can print it myself. Best Buy has their steelbook, which there are nicer looking steelbooks in other countries, but then you gotta pay in shipping import fees and that kind of stuff. And a lot of stuff is actually being reprinted. It's like uh, Aquaman just came out with its, uh, Second uh, one, which was which was a Blue Fans exclusive, with him hold, just holding a trident over the water, and they'd done three John Wicks in the span of one year, all all for Chapter Three. So there you go. This one it just has the three main human cast on the front and Brandy on the back, and their little stylized posters. Target. This is either going to be a digi book, or it's going to be what they did for Venom, where the book is the movie's wrapped in plastic, shrink wrapped. And inside the slipcover is this little magazine booklet type thing, which is like the magazine that might appear in the movie universe, that type of thing. And then the Amazon slash Target exclusive, which is the collector's edition, will have a record in it, a full-size poster, a Mad Magazine mock-up, which was in the movie, and then this long, and in the case, you can open it up and have a nice little artwork thing attached to it. So, of my picks, it'll probably just be, I'll probably end up buying the Amazon version and the Steelbook just because I'm a Steelbook addict. I may buy the, this version, but I have to check because if it's just a book inside, I might not bother. But if it's an actual digi book, I may buy, I may buy, I may end up buying it, but who knows. I said the Walmart ones, I'll just print, because people are, they, these are, images are available online in high-res versions, so I can just print them myself, really, and they'd be bigger if I wanted it. The 4K, the regular one, now I'll just take the slipcover off, because for those who don't know, Walmart and Target have actually asked the managers at multiple stores. They said the, their store's pol the company's policy, they do not care as long as you buy a movie. So, if you take a 4K slip off, 
go over to the five dollar bin, buy a movie. You can get that. You can get that. They don't care as long as you buy one because most people throw the slips away. If that's their policy at Target and Walmart. Best Buy, you cannot do that. Blu-ray version, not bother with. Or I might end up doing the sleeve on that one maybe because that was that, when I was thinking that originally in the original audio. I was actually th thought about buying a Walmart one, but I'm not going to, so I might end up doing that for that, because that artwork already it already is on the uh, main one here, so it's just different artwork, it's just this is longer, but who knows, and then the DVD, no, there's no point person that, pur no purpose in that, because you get the DVD when you buy both the Steelbook Oh, you don't get it in the Steelbook. You just get the Blu-ray and the uh, thing by itself. So, uh, but the Target one, you do get the DVD. So that's probably so. If I get the, if I do end up buying the Target one, I won't bother with the DVD on a Black Friday next year because this movie is coming out December tenth. The reason why I think that is because originally it was going to come out before Black Friday. If it came out on Black Friday or before Black Friday, I mean, it would end up being on sale because most movies are on sale on Black Friday. And the studios want the studio wants the most for this movie because this movie is extremely popular. So that's just a theory of mine. It might not be true, but who knows? Uh, are you going to buy any of these editions? Comment down below. Yes, no, maybe so. And or are you just going to pirate it? And as always, have a good one. Thanks for watching, and sorry for the background noise. Both this and my uh, review for The Current War are going to have this kind of noise, even though originally they didn't, because I wanted to have these up. And this stupid phone and the stupid MobaZone crap recorded the internal sound of my phone. They didn't record the actual speaker. So, once again, I apologize. Thanks for watching. And if you care about me swearing, you're not going to be a fan of this movie because the movie is rated R.